Hello, my name is Joel Minderhout, and I'm a research scientist at Vibration Research Corporation. With the ever-increasing popularity in the automotive industry of the electric vehicle platform, and the fact that there has been very little EV data acquisition recordings, we decided that we should collect some data on an EV platform and compare it to an internal combustion engine platform. So this summer we tested a 2018 Tesla Model 3 performance and compared it to recordings that we took on a 2016 BMW. Those two vehicles are rather similar and we decided it would be good to compare what kind of vibrations, what kind of noise are we going to find on these two platforms and compare them and see what the results are. What we did was we mapped out a number of road surfaces and we took the vehicles on identical trips down these various roads. The roads had variety of surface. They had also a variety of speed limits. And so we took the vehicles through a number of conditions and we've collected the data and we've analyzed it. When we compared the Tesla versus the BMW, we wanted to make it an apples to apples comparison. So we wanted to record data on structures that are identical in both vehicles. And both vehicles will have a 12 volt battery and they have windshields and rear view mirrors. That was our goal to record off of those three parts. We ran into a little trouble with the Tesla. We put a accelerometer on a bracket over the 12 volt battery and before we went off to run the test we made sure all of our recordings all of our sensors were giving us appropriate data and we found on that accelerometer that was mounted on the 12 volt battery bracket quite a bit of noise and we thought maybe the accelerometer wasn't mounted well so we took it off and tried it again still had that problem. We thought maybe there was just a bad accelerometer, so we switched out accelerometers. Then when that didn't work, we thought maybe it was a cabling issue, so we replaced the cable. And finally, we thought maybe uh, there was something wrong with our data acquisition device, our Observer 1000. And so we swapped that out. And after all those changes, we still had that background noise. And uh, we believe, and that's worth a further investigation, that there is some electromagnetic noise, some electromagnetic interference, some EMI that is coming from the battery and from the, perhaps the entire, uh, the vehicle that it's all electronic, that there is some kind of EMI that we were picking up. So that would be uh, an area of further study and Maybe it would be wise to do some cable shielding to prevent any of that if that is the issue. So we switched from mounting it on the battery uh, bracket to the strut tower. And we chose the driver side strut tower. And uh, we collected the data off that strut tower, off the front windshield, and off the rear view mirror. and. Uh, all of our data that we are going to look at, we uh, examined those three environments. In addition, we had microphones mounted um, on the right side of the driver's seat and on the left side of the driver's seat, and we have compared the microphone data from those two locations. And most of the time they were similar, but there were times where the left microphone, which is closest to the window, uh, had a little bit higher values of uh, noise that it was collecting. And so you'll notice in our presentations that sometimes we use the left versus the right because uh, especially when we were moving at higher speeds, some of the wind noise on the vehicles was uh, more readily picked up off of the left microphone. And finally, as the driver, I wore a headset where I could narrate what the road conditions were and where we were at. We also had in the vehicle a GPS 
connected to our Observer 1000 and we had a number of GoPro cameras attached to the vehicle inside and out and uh, all of that information can be looked at in our software and it was very helpful to be able to match road conditions of the Tesla with the BMW by opening up the vibration software and looking at the data files meanwhile watching the GPS and the video files and listening to my narration we could pinpoint exactly the same road conditions that's how we could make those 24 snippets all be of the same road conditions and uh, even though they were two different of course drivings um, so when we see the uh, data that we're comparing you'll notice that they are of the same road segments because of that careful analysis we did and the careful uh, collecting of data in with those extra tools Thank you.